Hey, so in this tutorial I will uh, show you um, the map presets in this project. Uh, the map presets are uh, made for um, making your own displacement maps. Uh, so if you want to use 3D displacement for faces, then you need to make your own uh, displacement maps for your own images. Uh, in case you use any of the pre-made scenes which you saw in preview video, then uh, these are already uh, have already maps ready. But if you take your own foreground image, you need to make a new map for a 3D effect. Uh, basically, mm, the map is uh, a grayscale uh, image where uh, the parts of the image which are most far from the camera are black and the parts closer to the camera are white. So I'll show you the presets included with this project now. Uh, go to uh, folder map presets, open it. And here you can see there are seven presets uh, starting uh, with a 45 left. Uh, this is suitable for this kind of face you see here. It's uh, in 45 degrees from the camera. Then 45 right, preset down, which is down looking. Profile left, this is uh, when a person is uh, with a turned aside to the camera. And profile right, preset straight is uh, looking straight uh, into the camera. And preset up is uh, when a person is looking up. So uh, the basis is how you use these presets is you take this, um, for example, map preset straight. And uh, in every preset there is first layer controls. Click on it and now you can see on effect controls panel uh, the things you can change. Uh, map opacity. For working you need to uh, change it uh, to see through and then Again, when your map is ready, you have to turn it up to 100. The map contrast you can uh, adjust uh, after you have made your map. Uh, then blur needs to be turned on uh, when you use your map, when you render it. But for working time, turn it off. You can adjust blur amount, which is uh, suitable, it needs to be different for different images. Black background on is also uh, the thing that uh, sometimes it's best to have it on, sometimes off. The mask lines, checkboxes for uh, showing you where all the masks are drawn. If you turn it off then it's uh, easier to see some images and for rendering turn it off. And you can change mask lines color if you have, a, for example, a colorful image so you can see it better. Yeah, and preset position X, uh, position Y, and preset scale are, uh, are controls which you should use to position the preset uh, properly on your image. And uh, I will show you how to do it in the next tutorial. But uh, I will go uh, through all the presets. Uh, so here is the straight preset. When a person is fa facing a camera, then you should use this one. Uh, then there is a preset up. Which is uh, when a person is... Uh, I'll show you what's... What's on the background? When a person is uh, looking up, so some chin is uh, closest to the camera. And then there is a preset looking down. It's the opposite of uh, opposite of off, up. Then you have a profile. You should use this one when a person is... Uh, you can only see the silhouette or profile, left and right. And uh, 45 degrees, 
is the one we will use for our image we are dealing right now here. This is 45 degrees. 